Back now live tonight in Norton Shores with the investigation into the search for Jessica Herringa. It is picking up steam tonight with several new developments. We want to bring in 24 hour news aides Ken Kolker, who's joining us over the telephone tonight. And Ken, for the viewers who are just joining us right now, let's back up and reset the table. You're out at PJ Hoffmaster State Park. You're about a mile southwest of where I'm at right now. Someone came up to you earlier today with an item. Take it from there. Yeah, uh, just about maybe an hour ago, a gentleman walked up and said he found a pair of glasses that are very similar to Jessica Herringa's glasses. Matter of fact, this gentleman says that he is a friend of a relative of Jessica and believed that those were his, her glasses. He said he found them about seven last night and did not turn them over to anybody because he said the police department was closed and there were no park rangers here. So he came back today to, to turn those over, and before he did, he showed them to us. Now, we emailed a photograph of those glasses to the North Shores Police Department. And just a few minutes ago, um, after the gentleman had led me to the spot where he found those glasses, he left. Um, and I just led, a few minutes ago, led police to the spot where those glasses were found. Now, the helicopter's been hovering above that spot um, for the last few minutes, and police have walked back deep into those woods to see what they can find. Ken, can you tell us what condition the glasses were in? It's difficult. Uh, we took a look at it at, here in the scene at the command center. I couldn't get a good feel of how they looked. Well, they looked um, they looked very weathered. They looked like they'd been, there was still some like grass on them. There was a, uh, one of the glasses, the eyepieces looked like it had a hairline crack in it. Um, he, he showed me the spot. It was a spot about maybe 20 yards off the road that goes through Hoffmaster. There's a trail leading back there with an orange stake at the end of this trail. And he showed me the spot where they were found. It was maybe 20 yards, maybe 20 yards off the road. And Ken, uh, we do want to play some sound from the gentleman that found those glasses and turned them over to you today. Let's listen to that. And what did, what did, you found these? I found these yesterday when I was hiking on the trail and it was too late to bring them either to the Norton Shores Police or to yeah. the Ranger's office because it was too, they had closed. And you found them on a trail? Uh, just off to the side of a trail. I noticed I looked down and there was a pair of glasses. And they look like? And, and I've seen, well, Jessica Herringa is actually a friend of my, a relative of my friend. Okay. And so there's a personal connection as well. Okay, all right. I mean, these don't look like sunglasses. These are prescription glasses. Okay, all right. They look an okay. awful lot like the ones she had on in the photo. They do look an awful lot like the ones that she had been wearing. That's all we know right now. It's hard to get into conjecture, but I'm interested, Ken, since you've been out there, and what time first did you get out there, and has the police presence picked up at all out there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we got here before the police did. When we got down toward the end, the helicopter was flying overhead, and a DNR officer, a lone DNR, DNR officer, was at a little roadblock that was set up, and they were waiting for police to show up. Since then, maybe a half a dozen police officers or more have, have shown up. They're down by that blockade. Several detectives, however, were hiking up that trail near where those glasses were found. All right, 24 hour news. It's Ken Kolker, obviously on top of this situation, a great vantage point at PJ Hoffmaster State Park, where there is an active search underway right now uh, after some clues were discovered there today. We'll continue to stay on top of this story with our team coverage throughout the next hour.